In this video, we'll look at finding the lengths of the legs of a right triangle with a given angle of 60 and an in radius of 7. In order to accomplish this, we're going to start by getting the area of the triangle. In order to get the area of the triangle with the information given, we're going to use the Engels theorem of area of right triangle via in circle, which as you see there is r squared times secant theta plus tangent theta times cotangent theta plus cosecant theta. Once we have the area, we'll be able to use another formula for the area of a triangle and that will generate the length of the legs. So let's get started there. Of course, we could use a calculator to determine those trigonometric functions, but since we do have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, let's take advantage of that and remove the measurement of the in circle and label our triangle legs based on their relative value. And with a 30, 60, 90 triangle, that means if we had a hypotenuse of one, we'd have a short side of one half and the other side would be radical three over two. Now we plug those numbers in to our formula. For theta, we'll use 60, as that was the angle given. Secant is hypotenuse over adjacent, which would be 2. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, which would be radical 3 over 2 divided by 2, which would just be radical 3. Cotangent is the inverse of tangent, so that would be radical 3 over 3. And cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite, which would be 1 divided by radical 3 over 2, which simplifies to 2 radical 3 over 3. Now that we've got our trigonometric ratios, let's go ahead and put our in circle back in. That allows us to replace r with 7. Now we'll add secant and tangent together to get radical 3 plus 2, and add cotangent and cosecant together to get radical 3. We then multiply radical 3 plus 2 times radical 3, which gives us 3 plus 2 radical 3. We'll then square the radius. 7 squared is 49. And 49 times 3 plus 2 radical 3 is 147 plus 98 radical 3. So that's the area of the triangle. We can now compare that value to another formula for the area of a right triangle, one half the base times the height. And since this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know that those legs must be in that ratio. In other words, this triangle is some constant k scaling of the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So with that in mind, we'll multiply one half times one half k times radical three over two k. That will generate radical three over eight k squared. We'll then multiply our 147 plus 98 radical three by the reciprocal of radical three over eight. That multiplication gives us 1176 plus 784 radical 3 over radical 3. We'll then rationalize that result by multiplying the fraction by radical 3 over 3, giving us 1176 radical 3 plus 2352 over 3. We're going to divide both of those terms by 3, generating 392 radical 3 plus 784. Finally, we take the square root of that, and that's our k value. We can then apply that to the triangle. So the hypotenuse is 1k. In other words, the hypotenuse is the square root of 392 radical 3 plus 784. The short side is half of that, which would be the square root of 98 radical 3 plus 196. And the other leg would be radical 3 over 2 times k, which would be the square root of 294 radical 3 plus 588. We can then use a calculator to give us an approximate value of each of these legs. The short side being 19.12, the opposite side being 33.12, and the hypotenuse being 38.25. And that's the answer. Thanks for watching.